Hi everyone, welcome to Weed and Secret. Today we are making something so satisfying. It's bath bomb embeds. So easy and as I said, so, so satisfying. Um, I wish I'd done this ages ago. So I've got a cup of bicarb here and a cup of citric acid. Basically 250 grams of each. That's how much my cup holds. If you want to make less quantity than that, that's absolutely fine. So we'll just sieve those into the container that you're going to work with. And take some colour. I'm actually using teal from Easy Colours today. We will be using other colours as well. And I'm going to add just a teaspoonful in there. I'm just going to mix that round gently. Just do it gently because the uh, the powder, the colour, can get uh, airborne. It goes up your nose, in your eyes, in your ears. And you can actually taste it. I know because I've already made one lot here, as you can see on the left. The ones I made on the left there, they are the amethyst, which is a gorgeous, rich... Um, beautiful pinky blue pinky purple I mean well we all know what amethyst looks like so I just did those as a practice so I could see how much witch hazel to spray in so I'm going to go with four sprays I'm thinking I should go with three just in case but no I did actually need five sprays for those so I'm going to go with four it'll all depend on what you spray it, the quantity that the, that you spray allows to come out with a spray so just practice a little bit start off with one then try then do two if it's not quite right three if that's not quite right look at that gorgeous colour And you just want to mix your colour in until it wants to bind together like wet sand. That is a beautiful, beautiful colour. I haven't bought a specific embed tray I wish I had uh, but I will get one of those for the future and we'll come back and make some more embeds sometime when I've actually got those uh, a proper embed tray you don't even need a tray to be honest you can just turn your mixture out and pop a knife through it if you want to So what we're looking for, just the same, it's a different mix, but just the same as with your bath bomb um, mixture, you want to see if it binds together. So it's looking like four sprays is spot on here. It's quite a lot of mixture um, to make embed, so you might just want to do maybe 100 grams of each. Um, I'm just going to change my gloves because they do have a habit of of breaking through as you can see those ones have maybe there's a better type of uh, rubber gloves that you can buy uh, for making embeds if so let me know in the comment section down below or you can send me a message through my website if you prefer Okay, so uh, this is the only ice cube tray I could find. Now, I have a little bit of a problem with it. It's not the the embeds are not actually flush with, with the top. So it's making it a little bit difficult. But I looked all over Penrith for one that, well, I bought this not knowing. 
and then I used it and I thought oh I need to go and see if I can find one that's flush anyway I didn't so we're still using this one in fact I couldn't find an ice cube tray in Penrith anywhere except for Yorkshire trading and this is that one so we're just going to fill up This ice cube tray like so thinking the sh camera should be the other way around shouldn't it at the other side and then we're just gonna we're gonna push nice and tightly push those embeds into place and what we will be doing is we will actually be cutting the embeds because they're too big as they are. I'm just going to switch the camera around to the other side better view for you there and then just fill it up and level it off again nice and tight to it is the um, the easier they are to cut and it's the cutting part that I find is so satisfying it's like cutting um, soft sugar cubes We're just going to turn those out onto some kitchen roll and then go. I'm not going to show you me fill the other one up, I'll just do one tray at a time. And this is the most satisfying part is just taking your knife and cutting through the embed like that. It feels absolutely gorgeous and it sounds good too. It's a bit like also, it's very, very similar to cutting a bubble bar. But obviously a bubble bar recipe is different because this is literally just half and half, half citric, half bicarb. So easy. And then you colour and you spray for your witch hazel. Some people actually use rubbing alcohol to do this. I don't know what difference that would make and I don't know which is better but I'm presuming this one might be better because um, 
the bath bomb queen Nicole from the Kissing Duck Soap Company, she uses the witch hazel method. Uh, so that's why I'm using the witch hazel method. What Nicole doesn't know about bath bombs is nobody's business. Right, so I'm going to continue making these and then we'll come back in a minute and make a different colour. So we're going with um, one cup of bicarb, which this these ones are 250 grams. Just sieve everything and that gets, make sure you get all the lumps out. You never know, sometimes there could be something stuck in your uh, bicarb that you don't want in there. And we also need a full cup of citric acid both straight into the container together which is different to when you're making your bath bombs this is a very fine sieve so it's taking a little bit of it getting that through the sieve because it's granular citric acid I'm using today but it is going through, so all's fine. In love and war, as they say. So I'm just going to mix that together with my fingers. Now we want some colour. So we're using yellow number five from Easy Colours. Let me make sure that's what's written on the label. Yes, hot pink. All the colours I'm going to be doing today, they're all Easy Colours water-based soluble dyes. Link to those in the description box and also a link to Nicole's channel as well in the description box. What Nicole doesn't know about bath bomb making is nobody's business. So we're just going to open the container and we're going to add a teaspoon. Well, it's probably, well, let's get a proper teaspoon measure, shall we? See how much we've got here. teaspoon measure so what so we just I know it looks bright orange but it actually is yellow yellow number five And as I said before, this is the most satisfying thing I've done with bath bombs. So we're going to add, um, I'm going to go with three sprays for the start. Um, the other ones I did actually use four. So just mix this in well. Just keep rubbing until all of that witch hazel is rubbed in. 
Now you can see it's very powdery still here at this stage. It's still not binding. I feel like I want to put two sprays in but I'm just going to go with one. it's surprising what that tiny spray what a big difference that spray makes I think that's better right I'm just going to change my gloves all right so let's start filling this small shall we so you see what I mean about this not being flush so just squeeze them in like so and then you're going to put another layer on top. just going to squeeze them all in like this a lot of thumb work if you were uh, going to make bath bombs and I hate mentioning that I've actually got osteoarthritis but doing this is really good for them giving them some exercise so they say, I never want to sound like a hypochondriac by mentioning these things. So this is the part where if you had a flush flush mould it would make life a bit easier. And would save a lot more time right. whoops gonna be 
covered in yellow here. So you can see it actually is yellow. Right, now we're just going to take some kitchen roll. And we're going to turn those out. Dead easy. This is the best bit. This is the bit I like the most. Have you seen all those videos where people are cutting bubble bars up? It just looks so gorgeous, doesn't it, when people do that? Well, this feels just like that. So what I need here is I need some more kitchen roll over here. And I'm just going to take these. I'm going to cut them in half. And in half again. And I'm just going to split them. And I'm going to lay them out on this kitchen roll over here. Now, apparently the best way to do embeds is to leave them for 24 hours to thoroughly dry out. If you look at the side there, it just looks like uh, a bubble bar. Even though it's not a bubble bar, that's what it looks like and feels like at this point. Now, I think my pink one was a teeny bit wetter than this one. It might be that this one ends up the better embed because it hasn't got quite as much liquid in it. And it's, it actually caught surprisingly well. I, re I expected them to break up when I cut them, but they don't. As long as they're squashed down really, really well, They will cut beautifully. Like as a hole like that, that seems to me far too big for an embed unless you were um, just going to put one embed in a bath bomb of just one colour. But what I'm planning to do here is do some bath bombs with multiple colours in. Because I want to create bath art. Which is all the rage. And it's something my bath bombs haven't really done uh, previously. Okay, so this time we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of putting them into uh, an ice cube tray, I'm literally just going to make them in a cardboard box. Um, I don't know whether I should line it with kitchen roll first or... I don't think I will because I actually just want to cut them with a knife. So um, I'm just going to pop my powder straight into the sieve like so so you can see bicarb can get a little bit lumpy so if you haven't got a nice cube tree or a mold or anything i'm absolutely sure this will work fine so this time i'm using aquamarine from easy colors 
Um, all the colours I'm using today are from Easy Colours. So I'm just going to pop a teaspoonful again in there. I think you can overdo the colours and I might have overdone the colours on some of the, the embeds I've made. I think the hot pink I might have put a bit too much and I might have put a bit too much in the um, amethyst as well. Okay, so let's go get four sprays again of the witch hazel. See, it fizzes up. Probably not supposed to do that. I'm probably supposed to avoid that if I can. But even if you can't see uh, that it's fizzing on the top, it's still going to be fizzing a little bit inside because it needs to do that so it, it binds together. If you haven't got that fizzing action, um, same with your bath bombs. They're not going to stick together. And a lot of people always get in touch with me and tell me, ask me why are the bath bombs just like powder? And that's why. Not enough liquid in there. You know, I'm not the, you know, I'm not the bath bomb queen. I don't know all there is to know about making bath bombs. I'm just sharing with you what I've learned. I mean, on the other hand, you can go too far with your uh, with your binding agent, with your liquid. And then you end up with an absolute rock hard bath bomb that won't fizz. Doesn't feel like there's much powder in this one, colour I mean. But we can always do a little test, can't we, and see how it is. Might not see it here. Oh, there's plenty of colour in there, isn't there? Easily plenty of colour. Right, let's see if this is ready to mould. It's definitely binding together well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tip that in there. And then I'm going to press it out like you would make shortbread. This has got to be simple, surely. And it won't need to be perfect because we're just making them beds which are going inside bath bombs to make bath art. So nobody's going to see them. They're just, all we want is that fizz of colour. Right, let's just take our knife. Actually, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm
think it needs pressing down a bit more actually. So I'm going to use the spoon. I wonder if it might be better to turn that onto the worktop and cut it because I can see when we're cutting it, it's trying to, you know, separate and move out, but it's got no space. You could probably turn it on to a just a piece of cardboard box, couldn't you? Not wrong with that. Now let's just see if we can cut it, shall we? Now I can use the knife. start in the middle and then each one I press I'll keep moving it out won't it it's just so satisfying doing this is it satisfying watching it I know people absolutely love to see things cut with a knife Oh, I'm getting a little bit too, too wide with my embeds there. Do you know, this has to be the easiest way to do it if they stay together. If they stay stuck together, you know, and they, we just don't end up with a load of crumb. I guess it all depends how big you want your end bed, doesn't it? Also, because these are quite shallow, they're not even a centimetre deep, then they'll be good for those very shallow um, bath bombs. Where your embed's too deep to hide. They have to work. I can't see any reason why they wouldn't. We've got to try another colour, haven't we? <laughs> I'm running out of space on my worktop though. In fact, I've run out of space on my worktop. But I could always move those bath bombs and need putting in a box. The, the next ones along need painting. 
and then it's embeds. Okay, let's try a different technique this time. Same technique for mixing. But I'm going to try a melon baller and see how that works. It has got a wall in, uh, so I don't know what kind of effect, if that's going to ruin anything. I think I'll just put my colour in now. I'm actually using orange, uh, CR402. One five this time. isn't it how some colours you think all the colours would be the same colour that they're going to come out but once you put the liquid in colour changes. even as it is. It's like a creamy caramel, isn't it? So this really is going to be my last one. Just test some of that in some water. Let's see what colour we get. Oh yeah, we've got orange. Oh, it is bright. So bright. Definitely ready. So let's try this on some kitchen roll, shall we? That's definitely going to work as well. So lots of different ways you can do this. So lots of different ways you can make embeds.
better off with plastic because this is a little bit slippy. very enjoyable doing it this way as well just move those nice and tightly together so we can get as many on there as we can without touching each other That's just like scooping ice cream or cookie dough. Not that I would know what scooping cookie dough is like because I've never scooped any. I'm talking about the type of cookie dough that people make that's not ice cream, but you know, they scoop it with an ice cream scoop. I mean, I guess we could do with this with a nice green scoop as well, but it's going to make much too big embeds. But let's have a go, shall we? Bound to work. works but I'm not going to keep that one I'm going to put it back in the bowl and continue with my melon bowl because I doubt I would ever need an embed that was that big this will be uh, a lot more time consuming than the others I like this technique, but you 
Yeah, it's going to take longer. But I think the size of the embed might be perfect. And it's not too high either. Something you could sit down and do if you don't want to stand up all day. don't have to be perfect. I kind of thought the mixture would squeeze through that hole but it hasn't. Just remember that you might wonder why you don't need as much liquid uh, as a binder when you're doing uh, embeds. It's because you're just using a one-to-one -one ratio with the bicarb and the citric. So if you were to use more liquid, it would still work, but it would be rock hard. Again, I know that because I've tried in the past to make them and I put far too much liquid in. The other thing I put in is I put carrier oil in it. You don't need any carrier oil. to the end now. It's just starting to dry out a bit now.
walk here and there we have our bath bomb and beds dead easy so satisfying such an enjoyable job uh, these are the ones I made previously hot pink and yellow and that was the aquamarine just a different technique again and amethyst and teal I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and share give me a thumbs up everyone uh, any information that you need is in the description box below the video and thanks for watching I'll see you all very soon bye bye for now